I hope you can hear me over the roar of the old pickup. Um, just doing another update video. Puppy Girl and I are headed out to the hay field um, in the ranch and pickup with the bale bed. And, uh, oh, <laughs> it's not running perfect. It also got hit by lightning. It was one of the things that was nearest, um, near ish to me when I got hit. It was about 15 feet away, and its computer system, like the chip and some of the wiring, burned up. Uh, so I just thought I'd do an update video while I'm doing this. I'm doing pretty good. All things considered, I'm not doing too bad at all. Uh, I'm having a lot of trouble with my brain. As you can probably tell I'm not quite clicking as fast as, as I, I used to in the past. Um, things that I should be able to do really easily are hard. Um, I'm hesitant to drive yet, so that's why I volunteered to do this job because it's the safest out of the haying uh, equipment. Um, they're all swathing, raking, and baling right now, which leaves this job pretty much and I'm just creeping along real slow and um, it's good for my arm. My arm is not going dead near as often. Uh, just about once a day if I'm lucky, if I don't use it too hard. But I am trying to exercise it, so uh, this is actually pretty good exercise. It's got a, a manual stick in it, so it's uh, a pattern. And um, I'm trying hard to like exercise my brain on the things that it used to be able to do that it should know that it's struggling with because like I've got a pattern for the gear shifter here and I've also got the remote for the bale bed which um, a combination of the two plus driving is quite a lot for my brain right now but it's a safe environment <laughs> it's a good place to start in the driving community I, I don't feel like it would be very safe for me to go to town and try to drive in town by myself. So far Miles has taken me to all my appointments just because I'm not I'm not super steady in my in my mentality and I don't want to accidentally cause somebody else to get hurt trying to drive when I shouldn't be. So puppy girl and I are just working on my brain's ability to connect to my right hand and I'm just gonna do a few. I might haul 10 total uh, tonight but we'll see how it goes. So just an update on me and the lightning situation and let me grab this bale. It's an extra challenge because it takes two hands to do this efficiently. I don't have power steering in this truck so my right arm has to work pretty hard on the steering wheel. And uh, Miles recently replaced the uh, transmission and the clutch in this. And the new gear shifter we put on doesn't have the gear pattern on it, which in the past I've never needed to see the pattern. <laughs> um, but now my brain is, is struggling with something as simple as the gear shift pattern which we have three different manual gear shift patterns in our drivable fleet here. I have a manual car that we drive a lot. The, the main pickup that we drive has a different pattern than the car, and then this pickup has a different pattern than both of those. So without the, without the pattern and my brain being the way it is, I'm struggling a little bit. So it's good for me, it's good to struggle a little. I don't want to struggle a lot, just want to challenge, challenge myself. So we'll get another bail here and then we'll head back to the yard.
close enough. We're gonna call that close enough. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but it's close enough. Alright. Okay, now we can use two hands to drive. It's a really beautiful evening. Um, it's besides all the smoke, of course. I'm sure it's smoky everywhere else in the world too, but it's quite smoky here. I don't know if it's coming from Oregon or Montana or who else is on fire, but a lot of the smoke is down here in Nebraska. So, um, everything I've learned so far, we are about, I don't know, 10 to 12 days uh, after being hit by lightning. Um, the first week was pretty rough. My arm was going dead a lot. My brain wasn't working very good. My hand coordination wasn't, wasn't good at all. I had a lot of pain in my arm, a ton of numbness, a um, couple of exciting things that had happened that seemed kind of silly but exciting to me. Uh, let me see if I can get the puppy in the video here. She's the best part. Well, she's laying down now so you can't even see her. Yeah, anyway, um, there's a couple of exciting things that have happened to me. Uh, two days ago I got my first goosebumps which they were totally random. I, I don't have any idea that it's decided to show up, which was awesome. I haven't had any feeling uh, like at all. Somebody, you know, I could, somebody could rub my shoulders and yeah, I'd feel it, but there wouldn't be any of that like sensation at all. Um, it, like run your nails on your somebody's arm or something, like your hairs will stand up or uh, maybe a cool draft or any of those things I, I, my body wasn't responding to. So I got my very first goosebumps two days ago and today I am feeling like, uh, like you know when something kind of crawls across your arm or you catch your, just, just the tips of your hairs? I got that first sensation today. So we're getting some sensation back in the body. I've been to see my muscle therapist, I think four or five times now. Um, she's done a lot of really great work on my arm, shoulder, and the rest of me. This I just feel like I've got run over by a truck, by an 18 wheeler. I feel so exhausted, everything hurts, all my muscles are just tense and wore out and um, I have a constant, constant jitter. Like there's so much energy in my muscles. They just jitter constantly and it's, it's exhausting, <laughs> it really is. So I like to go see the muscle therapist and she kind of helps me calm that down. I changed my diet completely. Um, the easiest way to describe the diet is basically an alkaline diet. So it's very high in the nutritional things and it's cut out all the things with caffeine and sugar. So I am trying really hard to just stick to the things that my body might need. I'm trying really hard to listen to my body because so far it has been right on. So the day I got struck by lightning that night I had to eat something and I kept saying to Miles, I want hash. I want potatoes with red pepper flakes and salt and pepper and garlic and I want potatoes with a little bit of hamburger but mostly I want all those things and the next day I was dying just dying for like a red bean soup with cayenne pepper and red chili flakes and just and I'm trying really hard to listen because after I research those things they say oh that is those are the things your body probably needs um, after an electrical shock or muscle damage. So my body's so far been pretty on point. Just trying to listen. I'm eating a lot of celery. I'm not a fan of celery, but I'm eating a lot of it just because it is one of the top things for uh, nutritional nervous system. So there's that. Uh, I've tried to get in to see a rheumatologist or a neurologist as a specialist just on recommendation but I can't get in anywhere because I don't actually have an in general doctor that I see once a year or at all um, when you cannot get in to see a specialist without uh, having a, a doctor to recommend you and that that's something I didn't know so I'm on a waiting list to see a doctor ah! so that if I need to get in to see a specialist I can do that Just trying to take every single day slowly and bring my arm and my muscles back slowly and connect them to my brain as I can.
that is the general gist of the situation. I'm going to hopefully start doing some, some water, some swimming. The local town has a lap swimming at a certain hour of the day, so I'm going to try to do that because that is the motion I need to do with my arm. Um, I'm not an awesome swimmer. I don't really like to swim, but once again, that's all my mind has been able to really think about for exercise is that it won't be so hard on me if it's in the water. So, I'm gonna try to do that. But other than all of those things, I'm doing pretty good. It isn't so bad um, compared to what it could be. Just still very thankful that I don't have any major, major things that I'm trying to recover from. And hopefully soon I will be back to being able to do things around the yard on my own. Uh oh, I'm not going to make the turn. Ah. Turning very slow with no power steering is not easy. Okay. So far in the last couple weeks, just watering the animals and the garden takes it completely out of me. Like I couldn't do it for the first four or five days Miles had to do it. Um, and then I took over and just did it really slow. It would take me several hours just to get that done and I was exhausted. I was, I, have to take, I was having to take a nap two or three times a day. My body just couldn't stay awake. It needed to rest. And the heat was pretty, pretty great actually because I was cold all the time. And uh, yeah, but now I'm not, the last two days, well, yes, I took a nap in the middle of the day yesterday, but today I haven't had a nap yet today. So I'm hoping I'll sleep really well tonight and that the rest of the week goes good. I've got a couple more phone calls to specialists. I'm going to try to line up. Um, just because my right side of my body's not working quite right, I've got a muscle here in my face that's still unresponsive. I'm talking a lot out of my left side of my face and around my eye. Um, my right arm, of course. And then I'm still having some numbness in like my toes on my right and just disconnecting everything. So see if see if I can get in to talk to a few people about that. And uh, that pretty much sums it up. So thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, Fancy and I really appreciate all the support. All y'all are so kind. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.